day because the beeping were it was just clicking and beep. It drove us nuts. Um, that was that Occutel model, that P2001. That was one of the things I didn't like about it. Um, now, the most important thing when you buy any product like this, other than does it work, right, is this right here, the rated capacity. This is where your money lies. If you buy a 200 watt solar panel and it only gives you 50 watts, it ain't worth 200 watt solar panel. It's just that simple. This brings out 1,920 watt hours rated capacity. I have pulled an unbelievably, extraordinarily good 93%. That was my highest out of, and I've cycled this probably, like I said, man, just tons, almost a year. Um, a lot. I, I think I've pulled about 1,750 watts plus out of this unit. That's that's unbelievable. I mean, that's almost top shelf for um, all the big boys. I mean, they, you know, they don't have a lot of models that rated that much. And the standby power is unbelievably low. As you can see, these numbers haven't really changed at all. It's been on this whole time, uh, other than me playing with this little light here. But notice there's no fluctuation. Even the point hours, the 53.7, when, when you turn stuff on and off, now the AC's on and the DC's on. So now I'll turn this off, right? 268 hours on the DC. DC is obviously much more efficient. But the weird thing is on this model, the AC is more efficient than the DC. I was really surprised. I think I got about 88% on the DC and 93 was the highest on the AC. I was blown away by that. So now let's go back to the AC and turn the DC off. 53.7. Now notice that even goofing with the system, you think that would dip down just, just a hair, but it didn't, you know. 53.7 and, and hours, that's a long time. It's more than two days. You could just let this sit. And it's only on 10% power to give an idea of the standby power of this thing. It's really, really uh, decent for, for that. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach to this video another video with the full system hooked up so you can see it as a whole. At first, I'm going to be honest, I recommended, I, I would recommend this system 100%. Um, I didn't recommend the entire system with the EV batteries because of the trouble with the cascading cables. I feel confident that I believe with, with my modded cables, with working with the Pecron engineers, I believe they have it worked out. At least mine has been good. I was able to pull like 7,500 watt hours out of 8,000. That's that's unbelievable, absolutely unbelievable. With no uh, no power spikes, no shutoffs, the batteries didn't fight, they didn't yell at me, they didn't beep, the system didn't go into any kind of safety mode. And I got it all the way down to, I think it was uh, like 1% or zero, and then it just shut down. But uh, I was right there at 7,500 watt hours. That is amazing, amazing for this amount of watt hours. So unlike solar panels, guys, uh, start powering and rating your stuff like this, and people will buy a lot more of your products. Uh, okay, so I'm going to attach that video onto this one, and then I really hope this uh, this helped you make a decision whether it's good or bad. I don't work for Pecron. I do not get paid to do these reviews. I don't get uh, subsidized in any way. I, I don't get free items. I bought everything in this channel that you saw. Uh, so just for full disclosure, I, I nothing. This is all my money. And uh, I just wanted to start this uh, because of that hidden menu. And then it turned into a whole review channel. So that's crazy. But it is what it is. And I'm happy I'm here. And I really enjoy doing these reviews. And I hope you guys like them. All right, I'm going to attach that other video to this one. And then you can see what the whole system does all as a, as a, a whole unit. Okay. Hang on one second. Okay, now this is the full model all together. You have the E2000 LFP on the top. You have an EB3000 on the middle and an EB3000 on the bottom. So all together that creates an 8 kilowatt system. That is enough power to run the average house all day, depending on if, uh, not if you use the uh, anything in 240 volt, like uh, dryers or electric ranges sometimes are 240 volt. So the average uh, appliances in the house um, may have a tough time with this because you don't have the 240 volt, but average stuff in your house, laptops, computers, lights, microwave, cooking oven, frying, uh, what is that, the air fryer, um, just about any popcorn maker, 
rice cooker. I mean, th this I've, I've thoroughly tested this system in and out. Um, a lot of people have been following this uh, channel because of this, of all these tests. And uh, I, I've thoroughly tested everything out. So Pecron did have these new cables. These are modified cables. Um, Pecron engineers and I have been trying to figure this out. They told me kind of what to try and what to do. And uh, it, it's been working. I pull about seven. Uh, on the last run, I think it was about 7,500 watts out of a system that is 8,000 watts, 8 kilowatts. That is absolutely exceptional. Um, the, the lights on the side, sometimes they'll be red and sometimes they're green. And But overall, the system is working. I've cycled it probably about seven or eight times now complete. That's a lot of power. Um, you're looking at, let's see, seven times eight, that's 56,000, eight would be 64. So anywhere between 50 and 70,000 watt hours I've cycled this system. Uh, this, this whole system right here runs my entire workshop area here. Um, but I just wanted to show it to you all together. So you basically put from the 24 volt expansion into port number one, and then port number two back into port number one. So it kind of daisy chains them. Um, I believe they're hooked up in parallel because it's a 24 volt system. And as you look and see, it's still 25.4. It's almost dead because I went through a full discharge. I'm you know, still testing, um, doing all this stuff for you guys because I, I don't want you to waste your money. I want you to buy a good product. This is $4,500 sitting here. That's a lot of money. So I don't want you to waste your money. Um, I love the system so far. There's a couple bugs that we worked out um, like any product, this is Pecron's first um, expandable system that uh, they release. So just like any company, um, when you release a new system, you're always going to have what it could have, should have. Uh, you're always going to have uh, uh, little, little hiccups you have to work out. But what's really good about this company is they stood behind the system. I mean, literally, every question I've ever had with this system, every concern, um, every... Um, just, man, you, you name it, they've always been there. I, I must have emailed them and messaged them, I want to say about 300 times, because like I said, I'm doing prototype tests that they asked me to do on this system, kind of being the guinea pig for everybody, and uh, it, it's working. So what, whatever the lights are doing, whatever the system is doing, now with these new cables, it seems to be fixed. Um, at least for me, I haven't had any problems. Um, I guess they're going to start shipping these cables out to everyone who bought a unit, uh, one of these. They're going to start shipping one cable per unit, uh, either at the end of January or beginning of February. China's having a really tough time now, I guess, because, um, you know, with the, with the whole uh, cold going around the world. I guess you can't say that word on here. I didn't know that. Um, they, they still have factories shut down. You know, they do tests every day. And, if, if you, you know, come up positive, you can't go to work. So a lot of companies and a lot of factories are just completely shut down. And I believe that China is one of the biggest manufacturing um, uh, countries in, in the world, if, if not the biggest. I mean, they, they, especially for electronics, I mean, they pump this stuff out. iPhones, Androids, power stations, computers, y you name it. I mean, they, they, they produce it for uh, companies all around the world. So I just wanted to let you see the system as a whole to see if it's right for you. I love the color scheme. It's, it, it, it's I, like I didn't like it at first. Um, the the kind of charcoal, dark black with the um, the orange bumpers, I thought kind of was almost kind of toyish when I first got it, like uh, kind of like a kid toy. But it, it grows on you. I, I don't know why I just like it. It reminds me of Halloween, and that's my favorite um, time of year is Halloween. You know, uh, as a kid, you run around to get a ton of candy. So I, what's, what's not to like with that? And you can dress up as whatever you want, so awesome. All right, so I just wanted to show you this. Okay, guys, um, make sure that uh, you travel safe. And uh, if this is right for you, buy it. If it's not, don't buy it. If you want to wait, if you want to wait until the cables are available, um, I recommend that. Um, if you just bought this part, the top now, this part of the unit has been absolutely, and I mean perfect. I have not had one glitches. I've cycled this alone at least. Boy, it's got to be, 
I lost track anywhere between 30 and 50 times. That's a lot because I was doing tests on it for months and months before I got these. Um, solar hooked to it every single day. Um, oh, one cool thing is uh, when you charge the entire system as a whole system now, you can do 600 watts here, 600 watts here, 100 watts here, so that's 13. These can pull in 400 watts a piece, so 4 and 4. So if you add all that up, you're looking at 6, 12, 13, and 8 is 20. 2,100 watts you can charge that, which means you can have that puppy from zero to full in approximately four hours. That is hard to beat for a toy looking system. That's a nice system. All right, guys, safe travels, and I will see you again, I promise.